Good morning, Good everybody. Morning. We're back. Finally. Happy, happy, new, happy, happy New Year, right? Yeah, because, Happy New Year. Yeah, it's it's halfway through a, January. It's been a, yes. It's been a while. It's been a while. Like it a, has, it's been a, a month, month. A month. It's been over a month. Uh, I like think. five weeks, I think. Yeah. Oh because are we off? Are we off? Are we? I don't know. Anyway, yeah. I'm yeah. We're off. That out. We're just off. Yeah. But we're back. <laughs> but yeah. we're back. Um, we have a new location today because yeah. um, today is Friday. We yep. usually record on Thursdays. Yep. Um, but today's Friday. We have classes going on downstairs. Yep. So. Right. So we decided to move up to our studio space. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and um, disregard the wires hanging from yeah. the TV over there. So yeah, you know we don't have one of those nice little neat um, conduit. No, uh, we don't. Whatever. It's alright. Yeah, it's okay. We, we don't mind. We don't. No. 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 Um, this is where it all place. happens: spinning, yep. weaving, yeah. lots of fun stuff. Classes, here. classes. Yeah, yeah. And so yeah, it's um, a big space. It is yeah. a big space. There's another. You're you don't see it, half right? of it. You're yeah. only half. There's another half. Yeah. Yeah. So this is directly above the shop. Night. We don't have any lights on nope. in here. It's all natural lighting yeah. from yep. the nice big window that we have. Yeah. So it looks yeah. good. we're real happy about having this space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very lucky. Yeah. Yep. So. Yeah. So we were supposed to record two weeks ago, mm -hmm. but we had a blizzard. Blizzard. Mm -hmm. So um, nobody went anywhere. Mm -hmm. And right. then we were going to record the week after, but um, I had my daughter and a friend visiting, and we were out gallivanting. Yeah. And um, so <laughs> yeah, you now we have time for gallivanting. <laughs> you know what we did that was really fun that I bet a lot of people in Rhode Island probably haven't done is we went to one of the mansions in Newport, and we actually like went in and did, did a, a tour, tour yeah, of it. So we fun. went to the Breakers, and um, usually that's like tourist stuff, and you know. The girl staying with us is from Georgia, so we were just looking for fun things to do. So we went there. It was fantastic. Listen, I'm a tourist. I, I have no reason otherwise to go into the mansions. Right. Other than right. to tour right. them. <laughs> right. But I mean, but, but if you're from Rhode Island, it's one of those things. It's one of right. those people. Right. One of those things that people right. people don't do. And in, in the winter time, it was great because there was no traffic mm. in Newport, mm. plenty of space to right. park. There was only two other ladies in our tour group. Mm -hmm. The tour guide was freaking fantastic mm -hmm. she knew so much about um the mansion it was a beautiful day we took a drive after we left there and we went down to brenton point and um Lots of nice took some pictures there. down there and um it was it was really it was it was a super fun day we also took a tour down to westerly to see taylor swift's house <laughs> yeah the day before that and and uh little known fact you can uh google taylor swift's beach house and uh the map directs you right to her house <laughs> It actually says Taylor Swift's Beach House. Here are the directions to get there. And you literally drive in the neighborhood and you right up, do you pull up right up to her gate? Oh, and there's there she loves them. Yeah, that's down Watch Hill. Yeah. So one of the girls is a huge mm. fan, so we had to do it. Mm. Absolutely. Good girly stuff. Mm. It was fun. Mm. Yeah. So no, that's here we are. Part. I've never I've never been to Block Island. I've never Oh, I've been. Yeah. Can't go on the ferry. Oh yet. right, that's right. I fly. Yeah. That's right. When you went, you would you would fly. You used yeah. to take the twins for the yeah. birthday. Yeah, almost every year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To Nantucket. Yeah, mm -hmm. never been there. Again. Won't there. see it. Yeah, I love. No, we'll never see it ever. Why? Cause I can't. You'd I have can't. a more more chance of getting there swimming. Baby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. ah. yeah. Just paddling on the surfboard. Maybe. <laughs> well, that's Marissa. She's stuck on the waves. Yeah. Can't get past. Exactly. Her. Exactly. <laughs> Um, so we're all wearing our, here I am, we're all wearing our well, some pins. pins. Yep. Yep. Oh, we go. wait, I gotta get mine. I can't. Mine's back. There we go. There Ready? Go. Let's just look at it. Smile. Mm -hmm. You can. Yarn chakra. And I yep. also have, Rachel sent us her enamel pins. Yes. So nice. I'm wearing I my, yeah. on my mat. The uh, thank you, Rachel. Bag. Rachel from On oh, the nice. Round. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. so cute. I yeah. love that. I love yeah. this bag. Yeah. And I put my pin there. Mm. She had a she had a really fun um, New Year's Eve. Um, oh, yeah. Rachel. Yeah, yeah. It was like a what, what did she? I don't know. I can't remember what she called it, but it was like a knitting like a thing, knit in. like a knit in on New Year's Eve. Yeah. And then she had like questions, and you could answer them and win prizes. I didn't win anything, That's but it was fun. super. But it was super mm. fun. I and think we do some kind of prize thing. We will. We will. We will. Yeah, and a knit along. Mm -hmm. I want. Yeah. If you guys want to do a knit along of something, send yeah. us some information because I yep. really want it. I'm mm. like itching to do one. Yeah, yep. people liked the um, the, the spice, uh, market. spice market mm -hmm. uh, knit along. That was, that was that fun was to fun. do. So 
Um, so you can write your you can write your ideas, you yeah. know, down below yeah. um, in the comment section on YouTube, or you can go to our Ravelry page mm -hmm. and um, you can find us at um, the Yarn Shop Girls podcast. Mm. We never introduced ourselves. Oh, we're so bad at this. I'm Gail, Marissa, and Ann. Um, so you can find us um, on Ravelry. You found us. You found us here. Um, you can also find us in, any information through um, the shop, yeah. which is um, Love to Knit. There's also um, a Ravelry page for Love to Knit. There's a Facebook page for Love to Knit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, our so website, if you want to get, and if you want to get the newsletter, go right. on the website yep. webtonitri.com and subscribe. Yep, and they'll all bombard the... you with a, you know a bunch of them because God um, knows there's no time. I know. No. Yeah, no but all that. the but all the information is also on the um, yeah. front pages. Right? So the, yeah, that's right. Marissa links everything. <clears throat> so, but I actually printed one out today. So there's a lot of information in this one because mm -hmm. it had been a while. Yeah, a while. So anyway, really fun great. stuff, yeah. Yeah. So um, so I went to Vogue Knitting. Yeah. Oh, that's right, Gail did. And yeah. um, <clears throat> it was way fun. R and D. Yeah. R &D. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And um, you know, we saw a couple of yarns that we may mm -hmm. bring into the store. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm well, definitely barn that. yarn. Yeah, we've got that. Yarn. We've got that uh, order yeah, all ready to go. Oh, I didn't. It's so beautiful. Pretty. Wait till you see it. Where's her? I'm sure we'll put it up online when it comes in, but. It's stunning. We got the fingering weight, sock weight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, because she's she wholesales. She doesn't wholesale every base. The yeah. two sock and the DK, mm -hmm. or is it one sock and, and her DK? But I um, yeah, be just beautiful, beautiful yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love it. So mm -hmm. she's got a little wait time. Mm -hmm. They all do. Yeah. Like six they, weeks. Uh, mo say. Most of them. Most of them have a, a bit of a wait time. Oh, yeah. Bad. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some it's like you know the fifth of never, but <laughs> yeah, yep. and it was very so. very crowded. The yeah, best day to go is on Sunday, mm -hmm. because then there's it's not very very crowded mm -hmm. and you can actually mm -hmm. see everything. Mm -hmm. um, but a gajillion indie dyers, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, of course, Stephen West, Stephen B, mm -hmm. um, Christy Glass, um, mm -hmm. you know. I caught up through it through. Uh... Instagram. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But it was a lot fun. of podcasters went. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did you hand out any buttons? I did. Good. I did. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So that was Good. kind of fun. <clears throat> You're Gail. I am. <laughs> so yeah, it's always a, it's it's kind of like surreal almost. Like, like I, I feel like you're my friend, and I'm like, I am your friend. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah, but it was way fun. You were holding the fort down. I, I was here holding the fort down. Yeah. And I was entertaining. Yeah. That's right. You Children. were still entertaining. Mm -hmm. You guys yep. usually till what till, Tuesday? Till, no, they no. left Sunday. Oh, Sunday. Oh, okay. they left Sunday afternoon. <laughs> God forbid. Yeah. Tuesday. <laughs> no, they started class Tuesday. Yeah. Oh. They've already started class. Oh, yeah. URI doesn't go back till next week. So. Yeah. Right. Monday. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so, um, I've been doing some knitting, you guys have been doing some knitting and some crocheting, so we've got some projects to show you. Um, I have to say, most of my things I knit, I have given away me too. for the Every, holidays. Everything I, I did. I did, um, I did a few things. I made my mom a pair of socks, a pink pair of socks, mm. don't have a picture of them, I don't know why. <laughs> um, out of the, um, <clears throat> it was Leading Men Fiber Arts. And um, she really liked them. She always wanted a pair of pink socks. So and she got um, them. And she got them. Um, oh. And I made oh. myself a pair of socks Ooh. because why not? But this was after this was after Christmas. After I had done all my look at that sugar cookie. cookie. Rachel said she's obsessed with this color. I well, love princess bubble gum too. Well, this downstairs on the wall, I right? Need, Don't I, we yes, have that on the we wall? We do. Yes. Princess because bubble. My mom did a pair of socks. Yeah, they her really socks. Cute. I and made somebody, a Laria repair. Yes, princess but somebody bubble else gum. just came in with that the, on the needles. Sh sugar uh, cookie. This is sugar cookie. Mm. They've been worn, mm. and guess what? I put them in the washer and dryer. Yeah, and they're lovely, aren't they? They are. Yeah, they're still lovely. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. I can tell you didn't wear them with your Crocs. I did not wear them. <laughs> I don't own a pair oh of Crocs. Ever. Yeah. Nice. yeah. He is never, ever, <laughs> ever, ever going to live ever, that down. Ever. I don't, I don't ever. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so this was, I did the um, Sock Magician's Toe Up mm -hmm. um, for myself. Um, 
I have a pretty small foot, not as small as my mom's, but um, it's like about a six and a half or so. And so, but I end up There's casting so on 56 many. stitches. Um, always used to cast on 64, way too big. Mm. Um, so, uh, yeah, so that's, so I love nice. the sugar cookie. Yeah. yeah. I, her yarn is fantastic. Mm. I just um, love it. Yeah. So I did that for myself. So signature sock on the signature round signature sock. sock sugar cookie, which is a relatively mm. new color. Yeah. Uh, it was her, like just before the holidays, mm. I think, or yeah. like in November or that something. That came out, well, Sugar Maple, was that mm -hmm. the round the time? No. Mm. I love that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. She I has, can't, I she can't has so many. Her, but yeah, because the siren came out with the heart. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and, um, oh, nice Chianti. That's when it came out, I think, with mm -hmm. a nice Chianti and Eclipse. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I think we got almost all the colors. Mm -hmm. on I the think wall. we really do. Yeah, we have a yeah. nice. I mm -hmm. love red. Uh, so time. call us if you want. If you want it, it's the signature stock, and yep. we have almost all of the and colors. And it's what twenty five um, a skein. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. On the round. Yep. Yeah. Yep. This is um, this is one of her new right, colorways. I, <laughs> I did. This is sweetheart. If you have seen her um, Instagram. Mm. She has used this um, in a shawl, but she's also knit up a, like a, she's starting to knit up a sock in this colorway. Mm -hmm. So you can see how it knits up. Mm -hmm. So you can follow her on Facebook mm -hmm. um, on the round, or you can it's follow great. her Instagram on the round, and you can see how that knits up. But that's, that's her brand new. Well, I think it might be an old colorway that she brought back. Really? Oh, I'm pretty sure she, because I'm pretty sure her Instagram said, you know, like, like bringing back an old colorway. You can you can write to me if it, that's wrong, but I was I thought that's what it said. It's so I may so, have been so pretty. daydreaming. I don't know. So um, yeah, really nice. Yep. And this is I want. Mm. Okay, so on Facebook I had um, put a link to this pattern. This is called um, uh, below. 60, 60, 60 below beanie. <laughs> I remembered one part of it. Yep, sixty below beanie. <laughs> And this is done out of um, Perfection Chunky, and it's um, the a granite? gray granite and then pixie is the pink. Oh, kind of looks so a little look white. Look at the pom pom. And then look I mean, at my pom pom. pom, -pom. <laughs> it's like per it couldn't be any more perfect, oh, right? So, so, so I think that I saw this pattern um, in December mm -hmm. before Christmas, yeah. and at the time he was offering it for free. Yeah. And um, you now have to, it's now a paid for a pattern, but it's not mm -hmm. very much money. Mm -hmm. It's um, great color work. I used almost one skein of the granite and then probably maybe about half, maybe not even half of the um, the pixie. And it's color work. You carry it's it. It's color work, yeah, but, yep. But a pretty good, uh, pretty easy. And very easy. easy. Yeah. Very easy. But look, isn't that it's like the so best? Oh, I love that hat. Look. One yep. size, Marissa. One size, mm -hmm. like a yep. bunny tail. But it's it fits perfect. Mm. It's not too tight. You um, put in all hats. It's super warm. I wore mm. it. I went out for a walk one day, and I put this on, and it comes down. It covers your covers your ears. Did you feel fancy? I felt yeah. fancy. <laughs> I felt very fancy in my hat with in my pom pom. pom. Um, I I don't even want to say it, but we're in the process of ordering a third order of pom poms because yeah. we're. We're out except for mm -hmm. this one, and I'm going to make a hat because we're all out of hat samples. samples yeah. Um, yeah, we sold We those. sold them all at Christmas this time. This is not for sale, sorry. No. <laughs> not selling it. But the yarn Unless is. it's a million yeah, dollars. Yeah, a million. Yeah, mm -hmm. I might. I might. <laughs> might. Might let it go for that. Yeah, but I mean, really, the, the Perfection um, Chunky is $7 mm -hmm. a skein. You need just the two the two colors. We have plenty of colors to choose from, um, and then you know they show it in the pattern with a um, you know a yarn pom pom. If you want to use up the rest of your um, skeins of yarn, so you don't have like just a little bit left over. If you don't want to wait for um, the pom poms, you can always do that, and you can always add that add that in. What size needle did you use, Marissa? An eight. Up? An eight. Oh, wow. Yep. Wow, that's why mm -hmm. it's nice and tight. Yep. Mm -hmm. But it does. It's mm -hmm. but it's stretchy enough on your yeah. head that yeah. it's um, mm, so pretty. I love it. I love it. Hmm. You have to make one of those. Oh, yeah. Very cute. Yeah. Very cute. Yeah. yeah. So that's uh, those are my finished. Very well, finished busy. things. I have been very busy. Very very busy. Yeah. Well, I don't have a lot to show. I do have one of 
my husband's socks. He's a big Doctor Who dude. Mm -hmm. So it's the, um, you can show it once mm -hmm. you're in the middle. It's the police box, the TARDIS. And what I did was I called Janelle, the, you know, the dyer of query and owner of query yarn. And I asked her to dye me some TARDIS blue and I told her what I was making and it's like perfect. Mm -hmm. So I have one and a half socks done on that. Well, so, but it's a great, it, when the, the pattern is just a, um, you, ha you have to buy it, I think, mm -hmm. but it's just the graph, mm -hmm. so you can um, <clears throat> so put you it can... on anything pretty much. Right, yeah. you did modify it a little bit, you made it a little smaller. So I you did, because my husband's not with the... as big as, um, he's not as big as the pattern called for. He's a, has little Is it feet. a one size? Mm, yeah, for, and the, well, the graph 80 is for 80 stitches, right? stitches. Mm -hmm. but you oh. can, you know, you can this part you can take out do you know what i mean mm -hmm. as long as like ann and i figured out because ann's the math person if i can get the e in the middle of the sock then you can modify mm -hmm. the rest of it mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it just depends where you wanted that mm -hmm. but it was way fun yeah but you did toe up and i think yeah. the pattern is even cuffed down right. it, the pattern yeah, right. is cuffed down uh, so you just you have it upside yeah, down you, just, you, you have to it. exactly yes. you have to do it upside yes, down yes you did um, and then i made my daughter's boyfriend mm -hmm. Kui, a um isn't that a cute name, Kui? Kui. Mm -hmm. He's Vietnamese and it means precious. I'm like, oh my God, that's the sweetest name. But I made him these. This is Query Yarn and the color is called Cardigan. And I did Sock Matician Toe Up. Um, and I did use a 2.25 millimeter. Mm -hmm. So I, I did get nine stitches to the inch. Mm -hmm. And I just, I really like them. Mm -hmm. I really, really like them. Mm -hmm. I think they're pretty. And on his, I did the stretchy bind off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I did, I do that on all. You do? Mine. I did yeah, it I on Alaria's and it was too big. Well. So yeah. I redid hers. We all have big calves. Well, like normal. She mm -hmm. doesn't have normal. Exactly. Hers, hers exactly. are like just bean pole. Yeah, but I was not doing that and it was right. a struggle to get the sock. Right. I mean, the sock fit, but it was just a struggle right. to get it over the over my foot. Well, I think so. he has really big feet. Mm -hmm. So I said, how is he going to get his foot in a regular bind off? Right. So mm -hmm. that's why I said, let me do the stretchy yeah. bind off. Yeah, I usually do that for all John liked and his too. I did those for John. Yeah. Not for Sarah's and husband. it doesn't look bad, I don't think, on the top. No. I mean, it's a little wavy, but I mean. Uh, it's yeah. not wavy when it's on. Right. No. Unless it's Alaria. <laughs> exactly. Alaria's like, why is it ruffled yeah. on the top? Uh, yeah. Oh, did you say, well, I ruffled it for I, you? Yeah. <laughs> I, she's like, Mom, it won't stay up. Yeah. yeah. So I took it out and I did a tighter bind off. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. And then I have to show you this. And I want to put a little plug in for um, Edwards Menagerie. She's a gal that wrote a book, a crochet book, and it's called Edwards Menagerie. Her son's name is Edward. And so she came up with, I think she has now like four books, but she's from the UK. And uh, I got to meet her at Vogue and she was a doll. And this is my daughter, Alaria, made this little so lion, and it's obviously crocheted. What does that mean? Is it just ch um, chains? It's chains. like the, So there's, you chain, like, I want to say five yeah, on the top, yeah. but you put it in along, like, the lines. Okay. And it's very, because my daughter crochets really tight. Yes, I mean, does, it, yeah. this is really tight, that you could, um, it, like, feel that. It's, you like, so Boom. tight. Exactly. <laughs> So you do it right into the yes, head. Yes, you do a single crochet. And that would be so safe for a baby single, to have. Yes. It. Yeah. Yeah. There's like nothing Landon you can take that. apart. Right. You right. can't take any of it apart. Mm -hmm. So, but um, maybe we could How tag you? her up, however you do that, whatever mm -hmm. that calls. Because I just, she's amazing. She's a young girl. She's adorable. What weight yarn is this? DK. Uh, a DK. A oh, DK. Okay. So we could use the universal. Absolutely. DK. The yes. Um, yeah, not, not nice. Color. Her patterns yeah. on Ravelry. Her patterns are you have to get the books. Oh, you have to. You have books. To, but you can look at them mm. on Ravelry. Mm. Go on to Edward. Go into Ravelry. Type in Edward's Menagerie. Can you download them? And are, are they? Um, no, you no. get just the book. The I um, I got a book from her. She signed it for uh, um Ilaria, and then she mm. said, "Go on Amazon." She said, "And get oh. the other ones." So oh. I did. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. So they should be in today. So maybe I can show you guys. And they have podcast. all the patterns and stuff. They do. Them. And then because um because I bought a set of stuff from her, I got ten free patterns. Like yesterday came to my phone. Nice. Yeah. So and she does birds. 
-hmm. and she does monsters. And remember when you were a kid and you had like the flip books and like mm -hmm. there were like three sections yes. so you could change the face and the body and oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's how her books are oh, for okay. the monsters. And I want to say, not the dog, she has one all dogs. Oh, that's totally well. so cute. <laughs> dogs. Not because I love dogs. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, check out her books. They're really, really, really cute. Nice. Very cute. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so that's my story. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, I, I gave everything away. Do you I have crochet I, stuff? I do have crochet stuff, but I did. I did finish the socks. I finished. Yes. Yep. Seven pairs minus one sock. I didn't finish Gregory's sock um, until uh, just ten minutes before he left to go back to DC. <laughs> so, but I <laughs> have they to say fit? they fit perfectly. So here's the thing: when so he wears a size twelve, and I knew that. But when I finished his first sock, it was huge. A, I knew that I would never get the second one done for Christmas morning, so I just kind of stopped. But I wanted him to try it on. And, mm -hmm. um, why do the second one? Why do the second one, right? It was huge, <laughs> and it fit him perfectly because I thought the math failed. Right, right. The sock magician right. math failed, um, yeah. but, it, but it didn't fit, fit him perfectly. So he was home, thankfully, for a week, and um, I, I finished the sock before I went back. Well, that was good. Yep. Um, and I think I made six hats with pom poms. Yep. They all went. So yep. I don't even yep. have any of those to show. I do have yep. a picture of the socks that I can give okay, you. Yeah. They're just yep. all kind of rolled up before yep. they went in the stockings. But um, so then one of our customers, uh, Judy Zabo, came in with a pattern, and Gail hooked her up with Major from Universal and to do the crocheted baby blanket. And so I have three to do. So I kind of fell in love with it. A, it's oh, so fast. Pretty. And really, really easy. So this is the first one that I did, and it's called Corner to Corner Throw. So if you look that up on Ravelry, it'll link you to uh, some videos. So this is one that's being mailed out today. This is three oh, skeins so of pretty. Jewel, and and it literally it, it's it's corner it's, so it's corner to corner. So it's right. kind of nice. So that if you know you have a certain amount of yarn. You need to set aside some for the border. Um, on this size, it's about uh, 30 36 grams. by 36 square. You can also adapt the pattern for a rectangular shaped uh, blanket, but you go halfway. And then when it's the size you want, you start decreasing. It's one of those. Mm -hmm. So it's so um, soft. But it's very, very soft. And machine, machine dry wash, it. dry. 100% so acrylic. 100% acrylic. It's a so great, soft it's a yarn great ever. deal because it's ten bucks for two hundred grams. So, yes, right. there's like yeah. over three hundred yards so in there. So thirty dollars, and you get a nice baby blanket. Mm -hmm. And I know it's a little bit bigger than um, some baby blankets are now because right. they don't want you to do anything with blankets. But I like it. I like it. And you can throw size. it down on the floor. On the floor, exactly. Because you can always you throw can it go in the washer. somewhere. You know, right. if you don't want the kid to be on the floor. Right. Um, and then you just pick it up, and then you can put it in the washer, right. in the dryer, and be yeah. done. Right. And so you don't have to worry about <laughs> it's it. It's my second one. So that's for my girlfriend. I, oh gosh, I've known her since before kindergarten. Her daughter is um, her baby's due in March, so the shower is next weekend. This is going to Pennsylvania. Um, this is. You finished uh, that last night. I you know. Look, so. So look, this is all I have left. I'm on the decrease, and the, so this will form the point, and then you just go around. Oh, I love this To do color. the border. I the, love this. Yeah, one. you can put it, and honestly, <laughs> you can put any border on it. What's this colorway? I forget. Um, pretty. Pretty. <laughs> <laughs> it looks really, really bright in the skein. I'm like, oh, but I really wanted these colors, and I yep. just love it. I love it. It's for That's a boy. Beautiful. So Grace is going to a baby shower tomorrow. Uh, get busy. <laughs> get busy. So. Um, and then I have one more to do for one of Sarah's girlfriends. She's having her first baby. I've known Erica since um, probably they were in second grade. So, but it's a really nice, you know, quick mm -hmm. and. Let me tell you that major is uh, you can use that in a lot of things. Oh, it's yeah. like a chunky yarn. Uh, yeah. um, we have all almost all the colors. Uh, I think you yeah. do have almost all the yes. colors. We have all the good ones. And those yeah. took how many skeins? Say there are a couple that. I'm sorry, what? How many skeins does that blanket take? Three. Three. Three, three so for that. So it will take you three. Right. Oh, um, and I am, I am working on a shop sample in the russet, which are nice creams. Right, and, mm -hmm. but a bigger um, size. But like a bigger an adult size. size. And of course, oh. I ordered the wrong color to finish it. So um, that's on hold. Yeah. Yeah. But um, it's just, it's really easy. You know, you can sit down in front. It's good TV crocheting. Right. Right. I mean, really I need, a, I need except, a lesson. Except pop. So <clears throat> that being mm -hmm. said, we are offering a beginner crochet class or brush up on your skills. The project that's with the class is the fingerless, fingerless mitts, mitts, but um, 
this is super easy. Super, yeah. Super duper easy. Yeah. Chain. And you don't do a long chain. <laughs> the, the biggest chain you make in the whole thing is six. Um, slip and double crochet. Double crochet. That's, That's it. it. Mm -hmm. That's it. So yeah. I did. I know a lot of people do the do this. corner to corner. Corner to yeah. corner. But Judy yeah. brought hers in, uh, and she put it on our Facebook page. Check it out. It's in Carnation. Mm -hmm. And oh, okay. she put a little, so then she got oh, uh, some elephant. Uptown, <coughs> Uptown Worsted, excuse me, oh. and did a little elephant and put it on, and then she did a hat to match it. It was really cute. Because that's what Judy does. Yeah. <laughs> that little elephant, little, <clears throat> like, applique almost. Yes, yes. She, so, she crocheted it. So yeah, cute. she crocheted yeah. it and just put it right in the corner yeah. of the blanket. It's, it's, adorable. it's adorable. It's adorable. So, it really is. So anyway, but this is, I think, a newish colorway that we just got in. I was between the, that bright one and this one for so a little pretty. boy. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, some of the darker ones. I think um, I wove a couple of scarves yeah, um, out of this color. But what a Christmas nice throw time. for an adult that would mm -hmm. make. Nice. Yeah. And it does keep you warm when you're working oh, on good. it. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Okay, you know what so else I just saw um, with you with someone that someone used the major for is I don't know if you've you've seen um, Espace Tricot. They're um, a yarn shop up in Montreal, mm. Toronto, somewhere up in Canada, mm -hmm. um, and so they come out with a lot of um, different patterns and free. That some most of them I think are free. So they did this one um, like this cowl. Um, uh, getting warmer or something like that so it's kind of like it's almost like a funnel like a it's a little bit thinner up here and then it gets a little wider oh, oh how with the increases or, or needle size? I think you increases. I think I think you start at the bottom and go to the top okay I think mm -hmm. somebody used a major really with that I think it would look really yeah. pretty in the um, that gray oh the black and gray black, color yeah. yeah that's a nice color well. yeah one color, <laughs> right? But it's yeah. a great. But yeah. Cheryl Barrett did uh, that scarf. Yep, in yep. in that colorway. And I've made beautiful. I made a blanket. Yeah. With it. I did the um, oh the entrelac the entrelac yeah. blanket. Yep. Yeah, that's it's a right, great. It it's is. a great yarn. You'd never know it was acrylic. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. no. And this crochet, I mean, it really shows off the striping mm -hmm. and yeah, all the colors. It's yep. pretty. Yeah, it is. So, but that's about that's it, it for me. <laughs> Unless there's something else in my bag, but I doubt it. Well, I I also started. Um, I, yes. Well, I've been keeping up with the um, my sister's shawl mystery knit along from um, Cozy Up with the Stitching Sisters. Mm -hmm. They're from Grand Prairie, Alberta, Canada, and they're adorable. And I love their um, podcast. I watch it almost as soon as it comes out. And so they decided to come up with. Um, a shawl pattern, and each mystery clue is um, from kind of one of the sisters. So they have three sisters that do the podcast, then they have a fourth who's a, the twin of um, of one of them. But she doesn't really come on the podcast all that much, and she doesn't really, she's just kind of starting knitting. Um, but the other girls are, are really good knitters. So if you're doing this, or you want to do it, and you don't want to see it, this is a spoiler because I've gotten through four clues, four, one, no, three, no, Christine, I did Christina, Sarah, three clues, three clues. So what do you do, give them a minute to? Yep, all right, ready? <laughs> Look away. Look away, <laughs> okay. So, here's what it looks like so far. Mm, my God. Look how I want that. <gasps> look at that section right there. I love it. Oh, I want right. that. So what is the shape, Marissa? You don't, don't know. know. Don't know. I how many think, more clues are there? I think there's either one. I know there's one more sister clue to come out because there's four sisters, mm. but there's five Mondays in January. So I don't know whether there'll be like a kind of an ending clue. Right. Um, it's a very interesting cast on. Um, is is it a is it a um, an I cord? It it's like. an I cord on the edge. Okay. Yep. Really pretty. Wow. And so I the my pink I, my pink is um, from Query, Stunning. and the cream is um, from Query. And I have um, the colors and the information on my project page on Ravelry. And then the multicolor is um, something that I had in my stash. 
that I just picked up to kind of go together. So what you need is two solids and a variegated. Mm -hmm. And is it like faded uh, or it's melded? a little it's a, it's a melt it's Mixed kind of a, it's a kind of a um, a little bit of a fade. There's different um, some different stitch patterns. It's so beautiful. Um, and you're using your um, these are fantastic. Yeah. These are the cocoa knits. Um, what are they called? Uh, stitch, stitch stoppers. Yeah. Um, I threw these on. Perfect. Mm. Stitches don't go anywhere. Mm. What do you want? A seven? Or a a seven. Yes, a seven. Yeah. You, people are doing it on a seven. People, some people are doing it on a six. Um, oh, I just. It's really love pretty. It. And your colors. Yep. I know. Is, the, is the pattern going to be available after? I think so. Good. And you can oh you can join at any time. Oh, you can. Yep. Yeah, can and you get and then you get and it's, it's a great way to use up three skeins that you sure. have. Um, I had gotten the pink. Don't have three skeins. Oh, yeah, no, I either. had gotten the I'm pink and again. the white <laughs> to do those um, pixel socks Ooh. from Pearl Soho. Ooh. You know, oh, Doris yes. did them, and yes, I was going to do them. That. Yeah. And then I said, not, not, Ooh. not. And so this was just kind of sitting. You know, waiting for waiting something, for something mm -hmm. to be, and it's so beautiful. why like that, save your something to be? And so, you know, why why sit and save it? That's Just a really nice it. way to look at your stash. Yes, yep. sitting around waiting for something waiting to, to be, be. waiting yes. for it to be, waiting for it to grow up into something I just nice. I love it. Yep. So, um, oh, I love it. Yes, yeah, it'll be interesting. Really, really pretty. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So I can, and I've been able to keep up. And I'll go with your hat. <laughs> I know. I guess I've been in a pink I mood. Think you I don't have know. Your mom's socks here. I know. What the heck? <laughs> All right. So now it's it's put away. But look at Gail's colorway with her blankie. Oh. Oh this yeah. This is also very very pretty. Whirl. This is a, look whirl. Look at it that. Is pretty, isn't it? That's oh, a very pretty. This one is so funny. And it's gray and, and pink, and everybody's like, into gray. Yeah. Yours is like, and you you had to go up a size hook. I did. Hmm. I so weird. I went up to a, a, um, a K. A K. Yeah. And what is it? What is the pattern called for? A J. A J. Mm -hmm. Um. So, you know, I don't like two at a time. <laughs> we know. We know um, that sucks. But wait. Can I? Can I chill? Yeah. All right. So this is my kid on the phone, Alaria. She just Facetimed me. Show them, show them what you made. The little snails. She's is the it one from that, that book? Is yeah. it from the... Um, no, this is it from Menagerie, Edward's you know? Menagerie, right? La, who's the... It's Lolly or Lala? Um, yeah, that's... I can't remember the name here. I have it better. One second. <laughs> so this is, this is kind of funny. <laughs> Hurry up. This is it's live. Lala. Maurice is yeah. going to hurt me. I am. All right, we have to wait. It's Lolly Lakes or something? Lolly. Lolly Lala. Lolly Lala. You are doing two at a time, Marissa? Lolly Lala. Oh, oh but help. Tandem. Tandem. Get me a call. I'll call I remembered. Right <laughs> yep. I'll call you right tandem. back. Oh, okay, cancer. so this, I'm doing my Tandem socks. So I'm making another pair for Bob because he, he just loves wearing these on the round socks. So this is the Eclipse oh, colorway. So, pretty. Yeah, so I've is, done this one. all my toe mm. uh, increases. So now I started with the other one. I just put it on yesterday. Like That's just put it on. Fun. So now I do. So I. So this is how I did my socks for uh, my um, mother. No, nope. sugar cookie. Sugar cookie. How I got them done so quickly because. I did the toe. I did the toe. Mm -hmm. Then I then I started and I did up to um, I knit to where I start the heel. I knit where I start the heel. Same thing as two as a t two at a time, but it just seems a lot easier. Mm -hmm. And I in do my mine brain. two at a time. Right. I just I can't deal with all of That's the, how I the back these. and forth and the mm -hmm. um, I don't know. For me, it's just easier. I did. And I think like I'm a one genius. From each pair. And right. then went back and right. did the other, the right. other one, which is that kinda, was pretty cool, though. Well, but who? I mean, you know, you don't. You're not always working on seven pairs of socks, exactly, no. with a deadline, with, exactly. a, with, a, with a deadline. No. So, uh, but, exactly. Yeah. So, so nice. that's. I just. I kind of like been in like a little like. Like I haven't really found anything that I'm like really like. Jazzed up about. Ja I mean, sweaters. I wanted. 
No, I, ha I haven't even picked up my sweater oh. that I was doing. Um, I don't know. I think with all the knitting at, at the holiday time, it just it it kind of gets you to like, like you're like, oh, yeah. Because we all have old stuff on. Yeah. Like this was done last year. This yep. is the um, the linen stitch. It's that Hanasaku. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't. Mm -hmm. um, this is small. Um, the bamboo bloom. Yeah. Hand paints, and then I think I used the poems mm -hmm. uh, as the as the main color and the hand paints. And I just here. have a I have just a boomerang shawl mm -hmm. out of um, yarn hoarder from yeah. Lady Men Fiber Arts. And looks and like I meant a lot. Meant a lot. Yep. So, so, and it, I have to say it is quite lovely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I dug it out this the morning because I was great. chilly, but there's bunches of different mm -hmm. colors in it, mm -hmm. but it's meant a lot. Mm -hmm. And it's um, monos, and mm -hmm. it's just lovely. Yeah. 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 And nice and warm. Oh, this is so fun, right? I almost said maximum, um, but it's yeah, so, so fun. fun yeah. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. All right. So, I think that's all of our yep. knitting. Oh, right. oh, we have this one customer corner. This Judy is so Olson. pretty. Oh, yes. And the Luma. It's stunning. Look Judy, if that. you don't want it, I told you I'll take it off your hands. I know. It's Isn't it very, beautiful? very Do you beautiful. know how many skeins she used? One of each. One of each. Really? This is by Isabel Kramer. So. Wasn't it one of each that um, she got? You know, I'm not sure. Well, you can look at yeah, what you're I can't it. remember yeah. now. Well, no scale, scale up here, right? Yeah, there oh, is. Oh, yeah, there is a scale. Oh. oh, this is how we figure these things out. I know. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, That's what so I did pretty. when she gave it to me. I put it right on. I'm like, oh boy, you sure you want it back? Yeah. It's it feels so, heavier so than 100 grams. Yeah, probably but... is. Maybe it's three. No, because it's this. It looks like the same. So yeah. it's 179 grams. So she probably bought two skeins of each and didn't use all of the, right. each of the second right. skeins. Right. Yeah. So four skeins of Luma. And which yeah. they're twelve. It's forty eight dollars. Right. That's not bad. Twelve dollars no. a skein. Oh. Yeah. It's beautiful. That's a great. That's it's it's very luxury. Glorious. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a, it's a stunning, stunning. It's a wobbly stunning. table. It's a, wobble, a little bit. You know, Ikea's tables aren't what they used to be. No, they're not. <laughs> so, they're not. The, our old ones are lovely. Yeah, yeah. You hurt yourself on that before you move it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, I yeah, have we've this got. <laughs> Just in case you missed our, oh, uh, yeah. and there's lots our of Lady Men yeah. Fiber Arts update. This was mm, um, so a special yeah. colorway. This was called this is called King Max mm -hmm. from like um, November, I think. Was yeah. it November? And it was or Where the Wild Things Are. Yeah. Oh right? my God, how King cute Max. is that? And, and then the this one is Trapdoor. Trap this was um, December, December I can't October. Remember. Yeah. I don't know. We ordered them and it, it was going to take a really a long time to come in. So. Well, what and happened? then we kept yeah, adding yeah. colors. <laughs> Because we're like, oh, did you see that colorway? I know, and then the monthly colorway would come right. out. Like, oh, and then this I is wanna... this is yarn hoarder. Oh, this is what I'm wearing. This is what Marissa's wearing. Yeah, mm -hmm. so fun. Yep. So those are those are still available, and, and those are those are twenty five. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And you get mm -hmm. four hundred and sixty three yards, mm -hmm. and they're seventy five twenty five to push. Really lovely. And I think Janelle is swinging by tomorrow Woo! morning Woo! nine o'clock with Janelle. some tweed. Which she has oh, a tweed, tweed base in a long time, so that'll be nice. Ooh. And some sparkle. Yeah. Ooh. Don't know if it's self striping. We don't know. Very but exciting. We're gonna be it's always here it's with always her exciting. at nine at nine o'clock. So that'll be that'll be fun. That'll get me mm -hmm. out of bed in the morning. Ooh, yep. your snips. I know. Don't. Oh yeah, my snips. Oh the snips. Oh, I bought these the other day. I have to buy some. Of I, me too. Yeah. These are some heavy duty. And they're um, not snips. expensive. No, they're no ten dollars. They cut. May I? Oh, yes, they do. Don't there cut you your finger. I know. <laughs> those are we lovely. don't have time for blood cleanup. No, we don't want. Um, yeah, so those dirty. are the those are the cocoa knits um, mm -hmm. yarn snips. So, so we, we have, have the, some of those. We have the stitch stoppers. We've got the snips. snips. We've got some of the the makers keeps yep. that go on your wrist. I know we've shown those before. And the um, um, stitch markers. We have small stitch markers left. Um, mm -hmm. Show it over. Um, yeah, so um, I don't know if I have anything in my Mary Poppins bag or not, but um, do you want to talk about some of the classes? Yeah, let's do that. Let's talk about some of the classes. So um, the newsletter just went out, and we're doing the sock matician uh, based class. It's toe up sock class. We have two sessions running. I think we have um, some spaces left in yep. in both classes. The first one is. Um, Wednesday. There are two Wednesday night classes mm -hmm. and uh, a Saturday and a Sunday. And a Saturday and a Sunday, yeah. And um, oh here oh you know what I do? I have a picture of my socks. 
those are the socks all tied up before they went into the stockings. So anyway, there's nice. that. Um, and they were all Sockmetician uh, toe up. We just ask that you, it's $40 for both sessions, plus your materials. Um, we'll take a credit homework. card over the phone. There's a little bit of homework. The links are uh, on the email, so you can find that on the website or um, on our Facebook page. I have the pattern linked, so we can buy it for you here at the shop, or you can buy it yourself. It's two ninety nine, dollars yeah. I think, on Ravelry. It's well worth it. worth it. Well worth it. Well worth it. We have some uh, workshop worksheets to go with that. Uh, oh. We did some of the math. We, mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah. Because you do math for fitting to make sure you have your gate. You know, there are all, mm -hmm. all kinds of things that go with it, all included in the pattern. So these. Uh, Sheets are not to replace the pattern, but more of a um, just uh, an addition to the pattern. And then Judy's uh, Magic Cast On. The link to that is in the newsletter as well. So the first class, we'll do sizing the cast on, your toe shaping, um, and we'll review how to shape for the gusset. So then you can do that. And then the second class, we'll do um, the, we'll turn the heel with the German short rows, do the heel flap, and then you're basically done. Mm -hmm. Then you can do your, your leg and you, whatever you want to do for your uh, for your ribbed cuff. Yep. And really whatever you want to do for your for your bind off, but we do recommend like right. we all said the, the stre uh, any stretchy mm -hmm. bind off. Um, the beginner crochet is uh, coming up. The first class is the 14th of no uh, November. Uh, February. February. Valentine's February. Day. Yeah, Valentine's Day and then the 28th. So. Uh, two weeks between the classes, mm -hmm. and then Saturday the 17th and March the 3rd. Oh, I can't even believe I'm saying March. I know. She was so yep. Yeah, brush up oh, on um, brush up on all of your basic crochet skills, or learn them for the first time. We'll provide yarn for that for the first class. The second class will get you started on some um, fingerless uh, mitts, mm -hmm. crochet using the single crochet some chain, uh, depending on where you put your hook, you can get three different looks. So it's, um, I rhymed, <laughs> didn't even try. <laughs> we have a skill building series. Um, there are six workshops, Ravelry Know How, uh, Mattress Stitch, we'll do a vertical seam in stockinette and garter. Uh, knitting in the round, we'll look at circular needles, double points and magic loop. Um, let's see, cables without cable needles, which is fun. Provisional cast on, and then the Kitchener stitch, or otherwise known as, could you do it for me? Yes, yep. exactly. So, <laughs> no more. Do it yourself. <laughs> so, um, it's it's a package deal. If you want all six classes, it's $120, which is a really good deal. I think um, quite a few people have asked if we'll offer them separately. We need to discuss that. It would be more uh, expensive if you bought them individually, but I think we'll probably open it up individually, like thirty dollars for um, for one of the skill builders. So basically, if you buy four, you get two free. Right. Um, if you do the whole the whole set, but you can do them in individually. Um, but if you buy the whole series, you get a fifteen percent discount on the materials. An individual um, class. An individual. Enough. Right. Right. So that's the skill builders. Oh, our studio schedule. Lots of information in this newsletter. So yeah. be sure to look it up. And we have a copy at the shop too. Um, Saturday, next Saturday is a combo, uh, spinning and weaving. Mm -hmm. And these are all these are all run from 10 in the morning to 5 o'clock in the uh, evening. So, um, and Saturday, uh, February 24th, also a combo, weaving and spinning. Saturday the 17th is weaving studio. And then the of March. Of March, yes, of March. Gee. And then the uh, 24th of March is the spinning studio. Lots so, of info. Lots and lots. Lots of info. going on here. Yeah, is that it? Oh, and oh. our Super Bowl, oh, Super Bowl Sunday specials. Oh. Um, so we're open from noon to four now on Sundays, which I'm sure mm -hmm. most of you know. Yep. We're going to have some fun door prizes. We'll have snacks. Um, and uh, so the raffles you earn if you come in and you spend. Uh, one ticket for every $25. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be here to win. We'll, we'll draw names first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter. Um, so at one, two, three, and four. Uh, and the sales that we're running, 20% off all lace and fingering the first quarter, 20% uh, off all sport and DK the second quarter. Um, that'll end at two. The third quarter, which ends at three, 20% off all worsted weight yarn. 
And then the fourth quarter, all chunky and bulky weight yarn will be 20% off. So um, come on in, take advantage of those sales. And, uh, and we'll be here out in time if you want to watch the mm -hmm. game. You can be home yep. in time to tailgate at home. <laughs> so uh, anyway, that's it. Yeah. Okay. A lot of stuff. A lot, a lot of stuff. You can catch stuff. all that. Yeah. It's all, if you just go to lovetoknitri.com, yep. you can, it's right there on the front of the page. Yep. And then if you want to get your own and you've not signed up, then you put your email in to yep. the subscribe button. Yeah. But if you want to sign up for any of those classes mm -hmm. and, you know, just aren't coming to the shop, we'll certainly take your credit card over the phone. Yep. And um, just try to get in before the class so you can pick out your materials that you need. Mm -hmm. Have your yarn wound. Um, most mm -hmm. of our yarn needs to be wound. Some are mm -hmm. in nice pull-out skeins, but mm -hmm. even sometimes those we like to wind. Right. Yep. <laughs> so, so you know, like yarn bar barf. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and even sometimes, like this major, you know, you got to be careful. It's a big skein of yarn. Yeah, it's huge. I mean, huge, 200 grams of bulky mm -hmm. weight yarn. Mm -hmm. So um, anyway. That's it. That's all I have. Well, I think that's good. And we're at a yeah. perfect time. Awesome. 45 minutes. Okay. Perfect. We always do that. It's yeah. Pretty good. Nice I to know. be back. Yep. Yes. And my so gosh. hopefully we'll be back on a regular and, um, recording schedule. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to, you know, send us some suggestions mm -hmm. on knit-alongs yep. or what right. you guys would like to do or if there's something you want to see mm -hmm. or yep. something fun. Mm -hmm. I know somebody know. sent me an email. Would we ever do online classes? You know, that's, Why not? that's certainly something to consider, Yeah, uh, an online class, yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess it would, Why not? I'm not sure what that entails, yeah, but... I'm um, not sure what that means. Yeah. Well, like a crafty thing. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. Know, right? oh I see. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. somebody teaching, mm -hmm. like, yeah. yes. So anyway, that, that was one nice suggestion. Yeah. We don't have any classes scheduled right now from Monday through Friday. Well, we're not here Mondays, but Tuesday through Friday during the day. Uh, that's uh, We have our weekday classes at night from 6 to 8 on Wednesdays mm -hmm. right now, and then mm -hmm. weekend classes. So mm -hmm. that's what we have right now, but um, that doesn't mean we won't ever have any. So right, right. stay tuned. Exactly. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Uh, thanks Good for watching. You all again. Thanks for have subscribing, and uh, we'll see two you weeks. in two weeks. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye.